in just two minutes we are going to start now good afternoon everybody once again good afternoon Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sister Precious. I'm online. We are starting in the next two minutes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome on board. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please join us on Facebook. Join us on Facebook. Join us on Facebook. I'm live now. Join us on Facebook. Hello. Join us on Facebook, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome on board. I think I'm going to give like a minute for us to have some on board. Some of our students online. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you are joining us for the first time, today we are going to have a lecture, a topic, and after the topic will be taking in questions but in the course of the topic you can also drop your question on board online for us to answer any question at all not only on the topic we are going to treat today after the lecture you are you are you are you are permitted to call uh, the number pasted on the on the screen board which is two six two zero five eight six zero three eight you can call direct or call through whatsapp Please, nobody should call through the other line, the Leica office line, which I always use, because it's the one we are using for the video. So, please uh, be with us. We have a minute to go. We're just waiting for some, we just want to have some people. Please help us to share. If you're on board, please help us to share. Help us to share, please. Just do us a favor by sharing it. Share on your home page. Help us to share, please. Help us to share. If you're online, help us to share, please. Help us to share. Help us to share. There's love in sharing, please. Help us to share. If you're sharing, I see it. Please help us to share. Oh, I will. I will really appreciate if you can help us to share with your friends, your friends on Facebook, your friends on Instagram. You can you can take it as far as possible. Just share. Just share. Just share. We are starting in the next thirty seconds. 30 seconds to go today as i said i said we're going to have the class in two different ways we are going to have after the lecture and the question i'm going to come up with some questions and and i'm going to give a giveaway giveaway gift for some students that are able to answer me on this platform because from this moment i'll be giving away some personal gift which has to do with our book a book but it's going to be in spanish so if you have a spanish neighbor just tell that spanish neighbor you don't need to get a material what happened is that we are going to have a material a free gift for everyone that will be able to pass those tests i'm going to give online 
and we'll give you free of charge and remember this is a public page which is the facebook and we we're trying to add value to most of the english speaking people online and every saturday one o'clock we come here to like dish out some of the topic which are likely a problem to students in exam and after in this course of this teaching we we welcome questions from anyone from any angle of the of the exam or if you've experienced something before about this uh exam you have the right to like hope you're hearing me please if you're hearing me please thump up are you hearing me you're welcome sister roya please so so after after the lecture please uh we'll request for questions and i would also throw questions down if you know them you can call in or you you write on board and I uh, will give as many students as possible. I want to dish out some books free of charge today, but they are in Spanish. They're in Spanish for if you are not doing your own in Spanish, you can give friends and neighbors. So, and again, uh, if you feel like, oh, you after the lecture, you feel like joining us and you believe in us, you believe in our theory that we can prepare you to do exam, we can prepare you to pass. You can also call me after the lecture and we have other platform where we teach and we follow up daily and we'll do all our possible best by his grace to make sure that you get what you deserve it is not proper for you to be in spain without driver's license if you have documents it should be your priority your next priority after document is driver's license even though if you are not going to drive now most of the better jobs request for the request for driver's license and it is very, very important for you to have it. So we are contributing our own parts to the uh, English speaking nation here in Spain. Wherever you are, you might be outside Spain or in between. We are available to I up assist. Thank God for the social media that has been helping connecting, bridging us together. And we are available anywhere. The exam question, somebody asked me, the exam question is the same everywhere in Europe. Even Fuerteventura, Las Palmas, Island Palmas, and everywhere. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Even in most of the Europe, it's the same thing. It's just that the speed limits of every country changes. But and most of those companies in you know, Scandinavia, they have the some of the theory that has to do with more snow. Snow and high stuff, ice driving. So please today just listen to us and you can call in the line, the line, somebody should help me, text your phone, text your phone, very good. If you look at the topic, you will see my phone there, 620-586-038. Please, if anybody have my phone, please help us to repost it there. The phone, you can call in. Please don't call in during the lecture. If you have any question during the lecture, you can always type. Type and put it in and and please uh today we are going to take good afternoon before i start good afternoon everybody good afternoon i'm seeing my brothers my sisters my loved ones my people oh i love you so much for being here every saturday even some people call me that we should change it that they are working and i said it's a free it's a free lecture so it has to be it's not convenient for me because i have to leave work now and come online so please the free lecture and please just do me one favor share it if a pastor on the platform and you don't invite your member to eat let your member benefit from this share it with your church group share it with your personal group please share it wherever you see anyone encourage them many information are being retrieved are being hidden from nigerians most especially the english speaking people here in spain why people are still asking questions that is it possible to do exam in english so funny exam in english is is available and we have exam in more than six languages you pick the one you feel like doing it the book is available everything is available thank you sister precious try to try, we need to let people understand that this is happening i know is enough of them arresting our people on the on the streets so what we are doing is to encourage them get it get good, good material and you click it up you can hold so you can make it it's possible now today we are going to run a topic which is thank you sister esther thank you for coming on board now please every minute just help me to reroll in the question the, the the phone number now the topic for today is 
right of way right of way sister roya beast thank you for sharing the video please help us to share share it on your own page share it on your own page please help us to share help us to share please share it on your own page share it on your own page good afternoon honorable ambrose help us to share share it on your own page give it a share it on your own page please so we're having the right of way right of way right of way when we talk about right of way right of way is one of one of the topic in exam please everything i teach here are part of those things that you're going to meet in exam there's nothing there's nothing you should give just you, you should you give, give away to just try to understand them and when you don't understand you can call us to explain more now what is the right of way right of way is still hidden way they use another word terminology that yid way yid way in exam and we have a triangle red that triangle red that faces down and nothing is drawn inside this triangle is telling you you yid way in that junction you give right of way to the person in the junction remember why are you giving way you are giving way to prevent accidents on the roadway and you're giving way in junction you know we have four junction we have t junction we have y junction depending on the design of the junction and when you get to that junction there are people that has right of way and there are people that does not have rights at that moment so if you get to a junction where a four junction for example sorry i might not be able to use more picture today because of uh some law that the facebook gave to me i can use some pictures but i will try as much as possible to to explain but if you are interested to be a student you can always have a forum whereby we can be able to post uh, pictures now the the junction a four junction a four junction a four junction let me see if i can get a my own picture no 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 a four junction a four junction when you get to a four junction now you you are driving always look at your rights when there's no sign when i say sign i mean there's no traffic light there's no vertical sign there's no traffic light there's no vertical sign to control the road of the traffic now on getting to that junction the right of way is given to the vehicle coming from your rights every time you get to a junction where there's no right of way where there's no right of way there's no sign the right of way is given to the vehicle coming from the right now but in case you get to a junction where there's a sign a traffic light is there you have to obey the traffic light why because the traffic light prevails the traffic sign prevail over the traffic rules now what is different between the traffic uh, traffic sign and the traffic rules the traffic signs are the five signs which i'm going to teach in two weeks time five signs which i'm going to reteach in two weeks time and if you go to my page you realize that we've talked about it before at least last month or two months ago stuff now but those five those five signs they prevail over rules rules are laws rules are laws that government gives like like where there's no sign on getting to that place i must give right of way to the person coming from the right which means after the person from the right goes i follow followed by the person coming from the front and followed lastly by the person coming from the left so the person coming from the left left becomes the last person to use the junction the four junction where there's no sign remember that when there's a sign you follow up the sign now in every junction there are signs that does not permit you to go first sign does not permit you to go first when you see a symbol of stop stop on a vertical sign you have to stop you don't have right in that junction or you get to a triangle a vertical sign where the triangle has x inside it it means the same thing as giving right of way to the vehicle coming from the right so there are those are the three major and the vertical and the, and the other vertical sign which is the triangle which i mentioned before the triangle red that faces down now area where right of way area where right of way can change there are area where you can you might not give the right of way to vehicle one when you're traveling on a road that is paved what is a paved road a paved road is a tarred road a tarred road like what we have here on paved road are on tarred road 
now or they call it solid road or on solid road on solid road which is unpaved road are roads that are not tied this red sand when you are coming from that red sand to join a road that they tied you don't have right over the person on the third road so the person on the third road has right over the person who is joining from a road they did not tie the second one is when a vehicle is traveling on a track when you're traveling on a track what are the tracked vehicle the track vehicle are train the tram so in a place where you have the level crossing whereby you need to climb the rail of the train or the rail of the tram to cross like what you have in madrid here in pala there's a city called pala here in madrid at their train station there's a crossing on top of the rail of the tram that is what we call a level crossing when you're crossing any vehicle on a rail has priority to go first over the vehicle that is driving on a road in exam this question comes in exam you know i first of all explained to us the right of road in a junction with no sign and i said when you get to a junction where there's no sign anyone coming from the right has the right of way that's the theory the rules but this rules is not applicable to the four things i'm mentioning now the first one i said is the paved road and the unpaved road the second one i talked about the vehicle traveling on a track and the third one now is the roundabout any vehicle in the roundabout has a right over the vehicle joining the roundabout i repeat if you approach if you get on getting to a roundabout and vehicles are already in the roundabout you must give right of way to those vehicles that are already in the roundabout so the vehicle in the roundabout they have priority over the one joining the roundabout and the last one is the vehicle joining the highway if you are joining entering sleep if you are joining you don't have right over the person who is on the major road i repeat if you are joining the highway you don't have right over the vehicle that is already on in on the road on the major road now i repeat the exceptional four cases where the right of way is not applicable one traveling on a paved road to on a, on a paved road b when you're traveling on a track a real track three when you are approaching a roundabout the person in the roundabout has right over you four when you are joining from the entering sleep now we go further talking about narrowing of a road narrowing of a road is road that has that is that is lesser in width lesser than necessary it can take two vehicles it might not be at the same time it might be at the same time and two of them have to go at a lesser speed in order to 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 use the road now when a road is narrow the road can be narrow on the left the road can also be narrow on the right and the road can be narrow generally now when it's narrow on the left we have the triangle red and the side inside it will show that the side that is narrowing now a narrowing road becomes a road that is less than 6.5 meters wide remember when i was teaching road i told us what is a narrow road last week and 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 i explained to us that a narrow road a narrow roadway or a narrow carriageway is a road that is less than 6.5 meters or wide so in this case we have three ways for vehicle who has a you know we are talking about priority and we are talking about the right of way in the junction so <coughs> we're talking about right of way in the junction and i want to restrict our topic on the right of way now on the narrow section of road we're going to talk about the right of way in the narrow section of road there are three things you have to apply there are three things you must watch the reason why i'm trying to connect most of this uh, theory in three four so that you can be able to understand people that has been to my class will understand that i always try to do it so that in a way that student will remember that oh we have three things that is placed for this four things that is placed for the two place for this now the first thing here is that on getting to a narrow section of road who has the right to go first you know most of these things happen in africa when we get to africa you get to a narrow section of road one vehicle from this angle and another vehicle from another angle on getting to the junction this one says you have to go back this one says you have to go back 
and two of them begins to fight and two of them they are there talking arguing wasting themselves time but here there's something you have to understand here in abroad is that there is what we call the right of way in every narrow section of road you don't need to argue if you understand the sign one the first one is on getting to a junction there might be a sign that will control the boats sign will be there to control now what is the sign we're talking about the sign we're talking about is we have a circular red circular red sign that has two arrows red and black a circular red remember that red means prohibition or restriction and we have the other side square blue square blue square blue sign with two arrows white and red now when the square blue uh, signboard is at one side facing this the circular red will be facing this so which means when circular red is facing this orange car the square blue is facing this blue car which means anyone that is faced with blue has priority to go first over the one that is faced with red and anyone that is faced with red circular red means that he has to wait priority is given to the person at the other side so there's no problem in that case when you have sign you know that when you are faced with red you cannot go first the other person at the other side has priority over you so that person has to go before you because the person is being faced with square or rectangular blue so the blue says i have priority over the person at the other side the second one is a kind of rules which is applied when there's no sign the person who entered first who entered first now a two junction i say i still repeat a two junction two vehicle entered and this one had entered much than this this one has entered and has covered almost five meters but this one only cover two meters so which means this one has entered more so this means this is the first to enter the first to enter has priority over the person who enter lately now the same thing another thing they can twist it in exam and says who has longer distance in reversing the person who entered first who had covered a lot of distance has a lot of distance in reversing so this person has covered it becomes the first person to go which means the person who has a shorter distance here will just reverse in a place where there's no sign another thing another the third one is on the same place when there's no sign but there's a doubt between the two vehicle the two vehicle entered at the same time but we don't know who has covered more than other this one entered with three meters this one has entered with three meters so two of them entered the same narrow section of the road at the same time in this case there's a law that is applicable the law is that there's a table in the government that divide all the vehicle into ten tabular form which in your textbook you can be able to visit it in your textbook but i would just try to run that the first one is special vehicle the first one is special vehicle special vehicles special vehicles what are special vehicles special no sorry the first one are special transport special transport what are special transport special transport are vehicle that carries a kind of excessive weight carry excessive weight they are kind of vehicle that their structures are bigger the second one is vehicle combination. Vehicle combination means that you're driving a vehicle and you are towing another one behind. That is the second group. The third group is animal drawn vehicle. Animal drawn vehicle. Animal is pulling a vehicle. The fourth one is your private car towing a light trailer. On that group, the fourth one, your car towing a light trailer. The fifth one is the bus. The bus, the bus, the bus we're seeing on the street, whether regional or the urban bus. The sixth one, are the lorries the tractor lorry and the van which are goods vehicle <clears throat> the seventh one is your car your private car so remember your car is on seventh one or your adaptable mixed vehicle 
Remember last time, last month, I explained to us, I asked a question, what is adaptable mixed vehicle? Adaptable mixed vehicle are vehicle that can carry load and carry passenger or simultaneously. Now, the eighth one is the special vehicle. Special vehicle. Remember, what are special vehicle? Special vehicle are self-propelled or towed vehicle, which are used in the field of works like agricultural sector, the construction, and the service area. This ninth one is the motorcycle. Whether the motorcycle is with sidecar or without, or the motorcycle is three wheel, so far is motorcycle. And the last one is the motorcycle, moped, and bicycle. Ordinary motorcycle, mope, and bicycle. Now, for example, they can give you a picture, a question by asking you when these two vehicles, the one in group one and the one in group three, meet, who has priority? For example, let me just give an example. Most of the example, you some question in the exam says when a bus and a lorry meet, a bus and a lorry meet at the same junction or a narrow section of road where there's no priority. Remember that bus is number five and the lorry is number six. So it means that number five has priority over number six. That is the answer. Now, for example, they said animal drawn vehicle, which is number three, and your private car meet at a narrow section of road. Which one has priority? Your animal drawn vehicle, because animal drawn vehicle are number three, and your private car is number seven. Or they said, a bicycle meets with a combination vehicle. Bicycle is number 10. Combination vehicle is number two. So you have to understand in this case, that table, that table is very, very important for you to digest. But if you don't have, if you have a textbook with you, a textbook which we use in our school, you can always get it in a subheading 122. 122 of the book. The topic I'm taking here is from the is from the book we use in the school, which is chapter five, and is called the right of way. Now, sometimes, you know, I explained something before. Now that there are three areas which you have to look in, and most time when students go to exam, they mix those three together. They mix it up. They mix when they're asking about which vehicle should go first. You have to think three things. Any question that comes in exam. Please, the purpose of this class also is to identify how the set question and how you can be able to answer in exam. Now, if they ask you which vehicle, which vehicle will go first in a narrow section of road, there are three things you have to ask yourself. One, is any sign found on the road? Did you have sign on the road? If there's a sign on the road, which means you have to obey the sign. The sign that shows blue square as priority over the other one which is secular aid the second one is if the vehicle that is coming from the vehicle that is coming in the one has entered than the other two the third one becomes if there's a doubt before some people might be looking at when we, when i when i was trying to teach the the part of the the part of the table now it was it was a is difficult because but how somebody can how can I identify the question that relates to that table? Now, the question will come up with a word in that question. The word will be a doubt. When there's a doubt between two vehicles on a narrow section of road, or when there's a contradiction between two vehicles of or on, on, on the same road. So in that case, you have to apply that last theory, which is applying that table the first person on the table goes first before the other now on a step on a narrow steppy hill it's narrow steppy hill you know when you have a hill that goes up vehicle can be coming down and vehicle can be going up vehicle can be coming up down they can be going up please today i'm not uh permitted to use some pictures that's why i didn't come up with pictures but i'm trying to describe as as much as possible which you can do and uh, at the end of this lecture, if you have any question generally on road safety or the exam or you've experienced something before, you can type or you call 620-586-038 for your for host to answer you. And if you don't have, if you can call, you can also type on it. And we have our own platform where we teach, but this is a free lecture for everyone who drives and who wants to have the exam. 
and the exam do you remember that the traffic exam is general whether you are from uk or you're from is general now here now we're talking about now the next thing is to talk about the narrow section of road on a steppy gradient steppy gradient is hill you are coming down from hill and you are climbing up a hill on a narrow section of road in exam they will ask you which person has priority the person coming down and the person going up but the trick there's a trick they always put in exam they will put a lorry coming down and they will put a car climbing up which to scare you as a car you will imagine that when a lorry is coming down from a hill it's more dangerous but if you apply the african mentality to answer that question you will fail it in exam because there's a theory that says anyone that is climbing a hill has priority over the person coming down from a hill unless there's a layby there's a layby good afternoon mr felix mr felix good afternoon sir so on a layby when you're coming down from hill from hill you you just realize that you 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 have to you have to honor the person coming up unless there's a layby when there's a layby layby means like that you're having a side of the road you move to the side of the road for the person to be able to move so in exam the person who is coming up who is climbing coming up coming up accelerating coming up ascending not descending the person ascending as right over the person who is coming down who is coming down now on a level crossing or a tunnel or a drum bridge a level crossing becomes a crossing a crossing whereby you're having a track a rail track a railway track and on that railway track you have to go through you go through it like what we have in impala here in madrid now or you are having what we call a tunnel a tunnel or you're having what we call a level a a drum bridge an opening bridge a bridge that opens and closes. you know when you're driving towards that area you have to understand a safety measure which is applicable and in exam a question comes in exam and asks you what must you have in mind when you are getting to a level crossing one you have to cross a level crossing with caution with a reduced speed you must go with caution and with a reduced speed the second one is that you have to be very careful when the barrier is moving the barrier becomes that thing that open and close on getting to that level crossing there's a there's a there's a there's a kind of thing that open and close which is the barrier when it's opening allow it to open fully before you cross when it's closing allow it to close and wait don't just be impatient to cross the place now the third one is that when you come across a traffic light which shows stop or shows danger time intermittent a kind of a flashing red or a flashing yellow you have to honor it you have to be very careful in order to cross because those signs they have meaning on that railway or a, on that level crossing and remember that in a tunnel you must always keep a tunnel you must always keep a distance of 100 meters 100 meters like this morning a student called me and said teacher i was i benefited something from you last time the last week when you said the mean the, the minimum distance frontal distance you keep in a tunnel is 100 meters many people don't know you just drive into the tunnel but in exam a question comes and says what is the minimum distance you must keep a car to each other because you don't drive bomber to bomber like the way we drive in africa most time when i go to africa i realize i get i get like uh oh uh, i get shivered when i'm driving because everybody is driving close to each other everybody is like bomber you realize that you have to shout that look you don't see me either. but in in western world here you have to drive in a way whereby you keep a frontal distance a distance that will make this vehicle when you apply brakes suddenly i'll be able to brake without colliding so but in a tunnel is a distance of at least 100 meters or four seconds which means it will take you four count of four seconds before coming to hit the vehicle in your front now we have the emergency also when you have an emergency your car had an e involuntary involuntary mobilization on the roadway something happens to your car and you get stuck on a level crossing when it gets stuck on a level crossing there are three things that is involved 
there are three things, three measures which you have to apply. But these three measure, measures have sequence. Has sequence. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you for that. So this uh, this measure, you have to understand that this measure are a three, and you have to understand how they are placed. The first one is this. When you get stuck on a level crossing, let me use this in a layman way that you understand me very well. You drive, you're driving on a railway line and you get stuck on that railway line. We've been watching some YouTube video whereby in Indian, where people get stuck on the railway line and train will just eat the car. When you get stuck on railway line, the first thing you should do is to get everybody out of the vehicle. That's the first thing. In exam, remember in exam, these three things, this three theory will come out in the objective. But they want you, they want to know whether you, you are going to pick the first one, the better one, which is the, you evacuate, take everyone out of the vehicle, first thing. The second thing is that you can warn the machinist or the driver of that vehicle, that situation. When you have evacuated everybody from the vehicle, you can warn the, dri the, 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 the train driver that, look, my car is here, if he can stop. And if he's not able to stop, the last thing you should do is you can try to move the car as much as possible you can do. Now, maybe by somebody helping you to push or you try to jump start, jump crank the vehicle in order to move. Remember that these three things will come in exam, will come as an objective. But when people go to exam, they might pick, they might pick the third one or they pick the second one and they will fail. And they will come out and say their English is not correct. Their English is correct. The problem is that you must apply the first theory into it. You, are you getting me? You must apply the first theory, which is you evacuate everybody from the vehicle first. A question says here, Brother Clement, please, please a question. Let me just try to think because we are about closing too. My question here is a motor coming down from the hill and the one coming up to the hill. Which one has right? Any vehicle coming down from the hill does not have rights. Over the one climbing the hill. The one climbing the hill has right over the person coming down the hill. Thank you very much. So now another thing is that when you get when your car breaks down, when you have a breakdown inside a tunnel or on the pass, remember that a tunnel is a closed area whereby even though they have enough light, you must still go in with light, which is your deep beam headlight. But when you get stuck in that tunnel, what you need to do is that you can, if you, if your car can still be able to move, try as much as possible to move out of that tunnel because a tunnel is a kind of dangerous place which every the government doesn't like a vehicle to get stuck there. So, but if you cannot move out, maybe something happens to your engine and the engine cannot move. In that case, you have to like move to the right. Try as much as possible to park off the road so that any vehicle who is coming in would not cause a secondary accident. And in that area, you put on the hazard warning light and you leave your side light. There's a light we call side light. That is the smallest light unit in your vehicle, in the lighting system of your vehicle. And you place the warning triangle appropriately. How do you place the warning triangle? Last week, Saturday, I explained to us that the warning triangle has to be placed in at least 50 meters. Remember that sometimes when I drive on the when I drive on the roadway, I see people coming down. Welcome, you are welcome on board, my bishop. You are welcome, sir. Um, when you when when you see people on that on 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 the road and their car gets spoiled, they just come out. They put the C caution, which is the emergency triangle. They put it anyhow. But there's a measurement which you have to apply. The measurement is at least 50 meters. 50 meters can be just do a kind of long leg walk five. And place your triangle. You can't just place your triangle anywhere. You have to place it in a 50 meters from where you have it. And from there, it starts to be visible to someone, other users in 100 meters. So 50 meters from your home car, you place the warning triangle. And 100 meters to other users that are using the road, that are coming, using the road with you. So in that area, you have to understand that 50 meters, you just don't come out, place your triangle. In exam, they said, ow. At what meters do you place? Will you place your warning triangle? 50 meters. At what meters will you be seen? Will it be seen by the other users? 100 meters. Don't mix it up in exam. That is why many people, when they go to exam, they mix things up. 50 meters is your placements. 
and it must be seen by the other users, the other vehicle that are using the road in 100 meters. And remember that when you have a kind of a kind of uh, fire outbreak, for example, you have a fire outbreak in a tunnel, in a tunnel, you know, we are still talking about tunnel. Something happened, a car caught fire and everybody's like, oh, we have to run out from the car. The theory is this. It comes with exam. The theory is that you must leave the key, leave the key of the engine and leave the key. Don't remove the key. Somebody might ask, why did I, mo why must I leave the key? Anytime you, relieve, you remove the key, the steering system got stuck, lock, the steering lock. But when you leave the key, the steering still turns. So you hop the engine, you leave the key and you go out of the car, you open the door down. I repeat, you hop the engine, you leave the key on the steering, on the wheel, on the steering, uh, uh, you know, key old, and you open your door down in case you are hacked an exam when there's a fire outbreak and you go against the fire. You don't run into the fire because you are not a fireman. You go against the fire by go looking for an exit, an emergency exit door in the tunnel. Now, that is that is when you have a fire outbreak in that tunnel. Now, another thing is that when you have a kind of, on the roadway, we are talking, the topic we are teaching today is the right of way. And we are talking about right of way, the slightly questions in the exam that has to do with right of way and the lecture generally. And again, we have what we call the animal track on the roadway. Animal track, animal track. When you have animal tracks on the roadway, you know, remember that I, I told us last week that it is against the law for you to press on, for you to press on in the built-up area. Even though when you are driving outside the built-up area, there are areas where you can put on, you can use your horn. That is your acoustic signal, which is when you want to overtake or you notice the presence of danger or someone wants to invite an accident. So in that area, you can use your horn. But when you get to where animals are on the roadway, you don't press on because when you press on, they get scattered more on the road. So what you need to do is to be patient and allow those animals to move. Now, in a case where you have, do I have priority? That's another question in the exam. Do I have priority when I have an animal track? You don't have priority when there is a danger due to domestic animal. What is the sign? A triangle red with a cow symbol inside it means danger due to the presence of domestic animal. But remember, with that is only telling me danger due to the presence of them. It does not say I don't have priority. It means that I have to be very careful, caution on that road. But something you have to be very careful, you have to understand now in exam is that in case that same sign comes up with what we call a complementary panel, a white complementary panel under it. And that white complementary panel, they put Canada, Canada in Spanish. The N carry an hyphen on top, which is Canada, Canada word, like the English Canada, Canada in Spanish means that those animals, they have priority. Even though you are driving down and those animals are still sleeping, you have to wait and be looking at the shepherd and be begging the shepherd to take off the animal on the roadway because it's against the law for you to hit an animal here with your private car. You can end up in prison. So in that case, you must understand that animal begins, animal have priority over you on the roadway when that sign, danger due to domestic animal with the word Canada under it. And again, sometimes when you're driving on a roadway, like I explained before at the early hour of this lecture, I said, when you're driving on a road that is tarred, and a road that did not turn, which is called paved and unpaved. The person coming out from unpaved road, on tarred road, does not have right over you that is joining the road that is driving on a road that is paved. And I told you, when a group of cyclists are on a roundabout, and one has entered first, and the other are yet to enter, don't drive into that roundabout. You have to wait for all the cyclists to get into the roundabout and finish up on the roundabout before you can join because they have priority over you another thing is a priority vehicle what are priority vehicle priority vehicle are vehicle that are used for public service that are driving under an emergency situation sometimes when they are not under that priority means that when they are not using either the siren or the lights they have two ways to express their intention. 
to express their intention that they are on priority states. Now, when they are not on priority, if you see an ambulance without no sound, no light, that ambulance is doing a normal kind of vehicle on the roadway, which is called, is doing what we call a normal car, a normal driving. But when that vehicle uses ordinary lights, ordinary lights on the roadway, ordinary lights, whether colored lights, it means that it's still on a priority. When you use only the siren, only the sound, is still on a priority. There are two things here. In exam, a question comes in exam and says, the, 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 the ambulance, the priority vehicle is only driving with the lights. Is it doing a priority or service? Yes. Is using only, only serene, doing a priority service? Yes. But if it's not using the boat, it's doing a normal motor vehicle service on the roadway. Now, who are the priority vehicles? Priority vehicle are the police vehicle, the civil protection, the rescue team, the fire brigade, the medical emergency, or every kind of vehicle that, that service, that work to service the road. Remember that according to the law here in Spain, on the article, um, one section in Spain, uh, that uh, one law that, uh, that came up on May 9, 2014, says all these vehicles, when they are on the roadway, doing priority, you must move out of the road and allow facilitate their movement. When you don't facilitate their movement, you becomes a problem. You can get a sanction for it. So when an ambulance is coming and I realize that it's under emergency, I move to the right because that ambulance will be looking for a way on the left. So in exam, they will ask you, if you notice the presence of an I I uh, a priority vehicle, what must you do? You move to the right and stop. You allow the high priority vehicle to go, the priority vehicle to move. Now, there's something we call a non-priority vehicle. A non-priority vehicle. N-O-N. Non-priority vehicle. Those are your private car using to carry out the normal service like a, a priority vehicle. For example, I'm using my car to take a neighbor to an hospital. A neighbor to an hospital. Let me just, let me cite a story. I have a neighbor upstairs my house and and then I was alone in my house and I, I saw that neighbor happens to be a black man and they were, the wife is pregnant. And I told the man that, ah, I know that you're going to work and your wife is so heavy, nine months, even the certain months pregnant. And I told, I told them, since they are living up my, my flat, I told the wife, take a teacup anytime, break it on top of my own room. In the night, in case you feel like somebody taking you to hospital, I will always facilitate to help to take you to the hospital. So one night when the husband, because the husband is doing a night walk, one night I took, the husband went to work and the lady was like, my God, he needs a rescue. They don't have documents and they need a rescue to take them to hospital. So the lady, I just said, pah, pah, a kind of broken something. I took, I took heel because up their, their flat, I had their key because anytime the husband is going, he drops the key. So I took the wife on going to the hospital. Remember, I'm doing what we call a non-priority vehicle because ambulance did not come. And I have to use my private car to take that lady to hospital. Now, going to hospital, I put on my hazard warning lights. I'm teaching you the states of using a non-priority vehicle. I put on my double hazard warning light, the hazard warning light, which is double trafficator in Africa. I put it on. I can bring out a white handkerchief from the window to express my intention. Two, I'm going, I can use on if it warrants. But anytime I get to a junction, I must obey the traffic light and obey all rules because I'm not a priority vehicle. I'm using my car to do what we call a non-priority state. So in this case, I repeat in exam. Let me now relate it to question. In exam, if you are doing what we call a non-priority, what are the safety measures you must apply? One, you put on your hazard warning light. Two, you can use a white handkerchief by bringing out from your window. Three, you must obey all the traffic lights, all the traffic regulation on the roadway. You can't beat light on the junction, like the way the other ambulance will do. Four, you can use your horn to express your intention to tell people that, look, help me on the roadway. And immediately the police officer sees you, they will stop you, and they will assist to escort you to the destination. Any question? 
That is the topic for today, which is the non-priority service, non-priority work on the roadway. Any question generally from anyone, please, we have a number to call on WhatsApp, uh, 620-586-038. Our line is open for any question now from anybody, any question from the house, from anybody. If you have questions generally, or you've been to exam before, or you, 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 you have some problem with how to renew license or how to, how to get it or information you need about it, you can call in through WhatsApp or call direct. Uh, the line is open for anyone to call. Don't call on the line you are, you are the, on, the, on the messenger. Please call on 620-586-038. Or if you've passed from me before or you've passed from anywhere and you feel like encouraging others on this platform, the purpose of this platform, please help us to share with members, share with people, share with friends. Uh, because we are taking all, we are going to take all the 18 chapters. Now we are, we've been taking, uh, since every Saturday now we've been taking some chapters and today we are able to run the topic that is called the right of way and it's free of charge, but we have our platform, which is our auto scholar on page on our home, on, on our home page. If you are interested, you can call, you can call at the end of the class. How is just, we're talking money. We post to you a question, a student is calling in. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Please, you have to lower the the uh, phone you are using to to watch the video. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Um, my question is, uh, the hazard warning light, is it the same thing like uh, uh, Lucy's emergencia? Yes, it's the same thing as Lucy's emergencia in Spanish. You understand okay, me? Yes, sir. It's the same thing. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. That Thank you very much. Question. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, what she was asking is that uh, the, another name, uh, the Spanish word for this is that Luz Emergencia is the, another word for the Spanish. So, I have some Spanish students that are on platform also, which they listen to the English and they, they are giving room to ask their Spanish question also. So, if you are on the platform, you are free to ask the question. We are still waiting for the caller. We have 15 minutes to ask question on this segment. And I'm coming up with likely question. You know, I promised us today that there are some likely questions in exam which have been a problem to students. And most time, when student comes, uh, when they go into the exam, they, they come out and they are like overconfidence that, ah, I'm going to get 30-30. And when they come out, they look at the result after 24 hours or later the day, and they realize that they failed. And they're like, oh my God, why did I fail? They failed because they don't understand the key thing. There's something about this. There's something about this exam. The exam is not how graduate you are. It's how you are able to understand, how you're able to understand the key thing, the major thing in there. Now, what are we saying? What we're saying is that there are some questions I'm going to teach, I'm going to talk about. If you have your question, you can call in, you can type it on board. And please, help us to share. Help us to share. I have my bishop, my pastors on the platform. I have my friends. I have people on the platform that has group. Help us to share with those groups so that people can benefit on this. It's just free. It's free. It's free. It's free. And again, we, we can also get you material, post it across to you. Even if, if you're living outside Spain, if you're living outside Madrid, we can post your material across to you. And we have other platforms where we teach and we follow up every day. Somebody said, what is the meaning of cannabis? Can I, the person that has the meaning of cannabis, I don't know in Nigeria. Maybe you know one of the musicians that is called, that is this guy. This guy they call Malians. All these people that smoke Igbo, this poro is called cannabis. Igbo, this Igbo they smoke in this, I don't know, this weed. Yes, weed. It's called cannabis. Remember that cannabis, it alters the perception of the surroundings. It's in exam. They said, what is the effect of cannabis? Anytime you take cannabis, you are tend to see everything as if it's small. It's not the right picture. Right picture. So that's cannabis. Another question says, good afternoon, sir. Please, on what condition do you use the front and the back anti-fog light? Very good. Anti-fog light is a light that is used in a weather or meteorological environmental condition that amper visibility 
Now, what are we saying? You only use it in a weather condition, a condition that has to do with meteorological or environmental kind of condition that does not allow your light, your normal headlight to see very well. For example, example is rain. When you have a rainfall, when you have snow, when you have a dust cloud, you can use it. And remember, the front fog light is on the bumper. On the bumper. It can also be a white color or an amber color, which is yellow. And the rear one is the red one inside the tail light. So uh, I'm going to teach you about that in two weeks' time, about lightning system. And, and you will understand it so clear that... Oh, about the light, but I can only let me just hope I answer you. Please, if I answer your question, just thump up for me to know that I've answered so that I can still because there are a lot of things I can say about those, those theories. You know, there are topics on his, on their own. So, but I'm trying to touch, I want to make sure that you get what I'm trying to explain. So, the fog light, you know where it is. Do you know where it is in, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the car? It's on the bumper, the front one is on the bumper, and not all vehicle has it. If you don't have it, no problem. But if you don't have it, you can use the full beam headlight. Look, in exam, there's some, there was a time someone of my students drove. And he uses uh, the front fog light wrongly. And at a stay, an area called Fulabrada Impala, a police stopped the person and said, Do you know the offense you committed? The person cannot identify. And the police gave 80 euro sanction. 80 euro sanction. That's the money they used to marry my mother even with marry all the family together you get me then so that money is is a money so a given 80 euro sanction because he was careless to not to understand the use of that fog light so you must use it on a weather condition not just to drive another question here not cannabis canada okay okay somebody say canada 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 means a priority for domestic animal a priority for domestic animal. Priority for domestic animal is all is a kind of panel that is white in color, a complementary panel placed under a red triangle that has danger due to domestic animal. Any other question from anyone? Sir, not what was you. I'm not talking about what you are saying, sir. Okay. Oh, Mr. Akube, what are you saying, sir? What is your question? Please, what is your question? You, know, you, can, you can call in for us to have a proper clearance of your question. If I don't answer it, uh, please, you can call in 620-586-038 direct or on WhatsApp. Or you retype your question because I didn't get what, what, you, what you just typed now. So, if you're having if you are still having some questions you can ask and again i um, we're still on we're still we still have 10 minutes for this section and again i want to encourage you that don't allow anybody to go and do exam for you it is possible it is possible people have been doing it for years and they've been passing if somebody who cannot read so much and write here in madrid can pass from me eight years ago can pass from me 10 years ago can still do it now you can do it. Look, giving somebody money to go and do exam, giving somebody for to go and do it, that means that you want to lose your documents. If you really suffer for your documents, I don't think you will do exam at practice. People can still collect money for you and say they want to go and do it for you. Good. But let me just tell you something. The risk is very high. The risk is very high. If it's easy to make money from it, I will have been one of the best person to be doing it. But because he is a malpractice and is against the law of the land, I would never encourage an English-speaking person for you to pay someone to do exam. It is better you take time to study. Take time to study. The time limit with us does not matter. I tell people when you employ us as a, as a teacher, I don't have a limit time with you. I, I, I sign a contract with you until you pass. So I stand with you until you pass. Move me, charge me with you, all your problem, your question, and I'll be, able, I'll be available to solve it for you. So if you have some student online that has passed from me that can call and encourage, I will so much like this. If you can call in just one minute encouragement to student, if you are one of my students on the platform and you're hearing this and you can call in or you can type 
on the forum to at least encourage those that are joining or you have any question or you have some of the experience you have done in the classroom when you are with us or some of the likely question that you encounter or your experience in driving now or what our 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 class has has put into you now you can call in 620-586 to to encourage the house now a question says sir someone was fined for beating red light because of the emergency um, uh, vehicle which is the ambulance was coming is it right to stay till it turns to green good you know it happens to me somehow in madrid i tell the ambulance man i cannot beat the lights because when the ambulance man goes i can't be going to court to go and justify that i beat light so so, so day and without knowing the plate number of the ambulance so sometimes in that case i will wait if that light has a radial or it has a camera but if it does not have camera i can move in a way that the man but I will intend to move. I will let the man know I can't move beyond this. Because if the if the if the, the traffic light has camera, I won't move. I won't move further because it will become a problem for me. And that question says, I asked about cannabis. Someone answered me that it is not cannabis, rather wrote Canada. No, there's difference between cannabis and Canada. Don't worry, brother. I've explained your cannabis. Your cannabis is poro. Poro. What the Malians takes in nigeria the malians you know the malians so what it takes to charge up is called the ego in yoruba the poro so but the canada is different is a kind of signboard which i explained now you have answered my question already sir thank you very much i've answered it. any other question any other question i think i'll be coming up with question also coming up with question also go then oh uh, one of my first question is uh remember that i have gifts I have gifts, but some of my gifts are in Spanish. If I can, if I throw down a question and you are able to answer, type fast answer, I will give you a gift. I'll give you a free book, a free book on how to pass in Spanish, not English, because I'm teaching English now. So if I give free book in English, I will not make money for my school. You understand me? And I will not be able to pay my house rent. So what, we, what I'm doing is I'll be giving book in Spanish. I'll be giving book in Spanish. Look at it. I'll be giving book in Spanish new for as many and all the actualized tests in Spanish for you to pass. So if you can answer and you have a Spanish speaking person who can benefit from the gift, you can answer the person. Now, the question is that one simple question is that during the fatigue, during fatigue, what happens to your reaction time? During fatigue, what happens to your reaction time? Please, all these questions I'm treating now, they are questions in exam. What happens to, during fatigue, what happens to your reaction time? Does it increase or does it decrease? Does it increase or does it increase? You have to call in. Does it increase? Does it, inc does it increase? I've told that, let me answer a question that, sir, what is red triangle sign that has black crossed inside it? Very good. The red triangle sign that has crossed arrow inside it, let me just show us here so that maybe it will, it will, it will be helpful. That red triangle, if I pick this line, that red triangle is red triangle with crossed red, black means priority is given to the vehicle from the from the right side let me just pick this line hello hello please oh uh, hello sir uh, please you have to lower the video you have to lower the volume of the video so that you can be able to hear us very well Oh, what's your question, sir? Yeah, during fatigue, uh, I mean that uh, the, the reaction time increase. The reaction time increases. Can you explain? Can you explain that better? When somebody asks you, what is reaction time? Yeah, I mean uh, the reaction time is the time when the driver see an um, hazard and uh, the time that you used to react. The time you used to react to it. That's a good answer. Yes. That's, that's a good answer, sir. You, are you living in Madrid? Where are you staying, sir? I stay in Guadalajara. 
in Guadalajara. So uh, at the end of today's class, please inbox me. You want a book, a free book on Spanish for driver's license from me. Okay, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I will call you after the program. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Sir. That question I just throw in now, a caller from Guadalajara, a city, a city closer to Madrid. Uh, somebody called and he won the question. He said, the, your reaction time increases. And I tried to know if he understand what reaction time is all about. He said, yes. And he explained to us, what is reaction time? The time that passes when you perceive an obstacle and you react to it. Huh? Oh, oh, Sister Justina, the reaction time will be decreased. It can be decreased. When you decrease reaction time means that we've answered it already. Your reaction time increases. And the brother has won. I have, I have many books which everybody is going to win. I have books which are meant for people to win free of charge today. We have books. I have I'm giving out 10, 10 free gifts on 10 questions. Somebody has won one. Somebody has won one. So we are having 10 to give out today's program. So these are these are them. We're having 10. So students, now I'm throwing the second question. The second question is this. You can also post your question because we are having a kind of um truly likely questions. Uh let me see whether somebody plays a question before. Good. You can still our number to call in is still 620-586-038. Now on a conventional road, on a conventional road, I said we have two speed limits. Two speed limits. A conventional road is an highway. We have two speed limits. Can somebody differentiate this two speed limit to us? You can call in. If any student knows it, you can call in. Two speed limit on a conventional road. You win another book. An actualized book is Spanish to pass your exam. The Spanish book is complete to pass your exam. Please, free, free of charge. Whatever you are living, if you are living outside Madrid, you get it. We are, we are giving 10 out today. I'm giving 10 out to the courtesy of me. 10 out today on this platform for benefit of people that has been enjoying our, our forum. So please, uh, if, you, if you have your question, you can also post your question. You can also post your question. You can also post your question. But remember, the question now on board is, can you uh, differentiate the two speed limits on a conventional road? The two speed limit on a conventional road. I'll be expecting callers to call in. I'll be expecting callers to call in. So, uh, any other question? And again, if you are living outside Spain and you, you have the European Union passport or you have any permanent resident outside the Europe, outside the, the Spain, you can also come here to do your license. Just call us. Or if you feel like registering with us, we have a platform where we teach online. It's just with a small token of money. We get you all the necessary materials, all the tests in exam, and we teach almost every time. And we follow up all the likely tests to make it happen. Okay. A caller. Uh, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You have to lower, when you call in, you have to lower the voice of the, the volume of the video. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Yes, sir. I want to join the respect of the uh, conventional road. I know that you will pass it because you are one of my best students. I know that you will pass it, ma. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you. I won't there want you to. to there is one of four hundred. There's one of four hundred. How to differentiate it? Yes. What do you look at the road delay? Uh -huh. The road has more of two lane. You know that you have, your speed limit is one hundred, and the ratio that has one point 
five meter, you know you will apply the speed of the, the speed of what? I'm hearing you. Repeat that last word. If the last shoulder is up to 1.5 meter, uh -huh. the speed is 100. Uh -huh. So which one is 90? The other one, the other one of uh, 19 kilometer speed, if the, load, if the road is of uh, 2 lay, one way going, one way coming, the okay. speed limit is 19 kilometer speed, sir. Okay. Okay, but what about if the hard shoulder? So it, if the ninety, if it does not have hard shoulder also. Yeah, the ninety, the the hard shoulder does not have hard shoulder up to one point five meter. Okay, I will not. I will. I I, will, I only give you seventy percent, seventy five percent of the answer. You 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 get you get it right, but you are still mixing up. Huh? But I will, I will give, I will, I will let, me, let me, let me, let me ask you. One way going and one way coming, sir. One way going, one lane going, one lane coming. Means 90. Yes, sir. Abby? 90. Let me help you to yes, restructure sir. it. Let me help you to restructure it. If you have an arch shoulder of one meter wide, what is the maximum speed? If you have the hard shoulder of one meter wide, that is not up to 1.5 meters. What is the maximum speed on the conventional road? Hello? Hello? Uh, the sister lost the call. I think she's... She, the, 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 the issue there is that she's mixing it up. She get it right. And the brother comes on, but the Oscar said the difference between one of it is... 90 some people are putting 90 everybody are putting 90 now somebody a student of mine say uh, tanya 90 120 go uh, that one is we don't we didn't, i didn't get you one say oh uh, brother one she said with hard shoulder 100 without hard shoulder 90. there's one other theory that one is one theory uh brother oscar the difference is the the 90 Per kilometer twenty overtake. No, 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 no. Sir, you are giving me another professor professor theory. You are giving me another professor theory. You understand me? So let me try to give it all. Uh, my pastor said ninety. Now my pastor said ninety to that that one. I will. I think a lot of people said ninety. Yeah, good. Ninety, ninety, ninety. I have four people that said ninety. But Sunday, uh, Mister Midred, Tanya. My bishop, uh, Larry, Pastor Larry, sir. Thank you very much, sir. 90, but I'm not going to give, if you don't call in, I'm not going to give that, but it's 90. If, if the large shoulder is less than one point meter, one meters wide, less than one meters wide is 90. The sister did not say that. That is why I brought that question in. 90 is 90. So it's 90. And the other one is 100. Now, what differentiate the two conventional road? What differentiate them is this. There are two points that differentiate the two hard shoulder. One, that differentiate the two conventional road. One, the hard shoulder of 1.5 meters wide. When the hard shoulder is 1.5 meters wide or more, that conventional road is 100. When it's less and it's one, one lane going, one lane coming, it's 90. Or you have three lanes, two for your direction or one for coming. So far, we compute all the lane and it becomes three. That conventional road, the maximum speed is 100. So when we have one lane going, one lane coming, which is one, one, one on both sides, the conventional road without hard shoulder is 90 km per hour, just like what I'm asking you, sister. So another question which you have to understand here is a, a, a caller, please. So. Hello, please lower your lower your volumes. Hello, please you have to lower your volume. That's in the Scott. Now, so uh, so we 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 are having five minutes to go and and another a color. So one minutes, sorry. Uh, your question, sir. Please, you have to lower. You have to lower the volume. 
The volume of the video. Okay. Hello, I can hear you. I can hear you. The difference between the two, 90 and 100, is the asset, which is the one with 1.5 and above is 100, which can reach the speed limit of 120. The one below is 90. Yeah, yes, sir. Well, I've said the answer, and you got it on the pay, on the on the platform already. I see you posted it. I'm going to give you one. You you want yourself a new textbook on Spanish. For any friend, I know you passed your yours, and I'm giving you a free a free book because we have ten now. Two has gone. We still have eight. We still have eight. Thank you very much, sir, for calling. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, uh, please, uh, your, if you have your question, you can post your question. We are here to treat questions. But I'm giving some some likely question in exam that are that are logical, which a lot of people when they go to exam they fail it because they don't understand the rudiments. So in this course of teaching, we are bringing out some likely questions in exam that are problem, so which I'm here to solve them. So if you know some that because you've been uh, you have the experience, you can also post it to us or you call in to us. Uh, but I still keep saying on this. Don't allow someone to go and do exam for you. It is better, it is better you start taking in your taxi or you use your train or your bus without no problem. If problems sit down JJ in the police station and is looking for somebody to come and knock it, and you go and knock it and you are caught, the problem of my practice does not finish. The case of malpractice does not finish in Spain for now, according to the new law. Please, I will encourage you, tell friends, don't let them to go and do exam for you. Don't pay anybody. You can do it. What you just need to do is two things. Get a good material that tallies with this, the language you are going to use in the exam and get someone who can explain very well for you. Go and do the exam. Even though you fail, when you fail and you keep trying, it means that you are not a failure. It means that you are looking for a success. You are not a failure. But when you fail and you give up, a lot of people, they failed and they give up. They failed and they give up. They failed and they give up. Those people are the ones that is described as failure. Don't give up. Try. Pursue it. And don't look at There's something other thing that people, when people call, they say, ah, I want to know how much it will cost to do license. Nobody can estimate how much. It depends on you. Nobody can estimate how much. How many times you can do it depends on you also. The more you give, if you can give time to study it, prepare yourself, study, ask questions, you will surely get it. We are available. I'm available for anyone who is interested. And I have a platform where we can be able to follow you up to help you to achieve your aim. What you need sometimes is someone to push you, someone to assist, just like the way you get to talk, to talk. You do tutorial for your children at home. You need someone to teach you, someone to push you. We have a platform where distance becomes no barrier. Whereby when you register with us, we get you those materials. I'm available 24 hours online to assist and to solve a lot of problems and to give it the likely test and to solve every topic in total, even deeply, deeper than what we are seeing on Facebook. So, the last question, because we are having only three minutes to go, the last question today is this. The last question, the last question, <laughs> this just has to do with sign, but I can't post sign. I can post sign because the last let me just let me let me just look. What are the five signs? List five signs according to priority. The five signs according to priority. Five signs according to priority. You can call in or you post your question. We are still we still have two minutes to go. We have two minutes to go to close down today's teaching. 
remember that we are doing question general not question on what what we did today so i have a gift for somebody from guadalajara a student somebody who called and i have gifts for my pastor here in madrid also and that sister that called i tried i have a gift for you also i will include you making three I'll include you making three so which means if you call now maybe the 10 is not going for today the 10 the rest might still go for next week saturday so any 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 question if you're typing type if you're typing type if you want to call to encourage you now or you have any questions to ask please help us to share on your platform help us to share on your platform and every every saturday one o'clock we come on board like this we are here to solve every likely if you're studying in the house and you have question in exam you can also call a caller hello good afternoon okay call line call so if you're if you're if you're studying at home if you're studying at home and you realize that you you experience some questions and those questions are not clear you can also drop hello 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 ma hello sir good afternoon sir good afternoon ma yeah, please, uh, me, I want to do driver license. I don't know how it uh, looks like. Uh, you, can call, you can call me after the class. Just call me immediately we drop. Call me after the class because some people, they've messaged me now. Call me after the class. I will tell you because uh, we have a class online which I will explain ah. the modality for you and how much you pay and we'll get material. Are you staying in Madrid or else, else Yeah, I live in Madrid. Oh, very good. So it's, 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 it's better. No, no problem. No problem. Just call me after the class. In the next five minutes, we are off. Okay, five minutes, sir. I should call back. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. So, uh, some people, they've been they are posting it already. Police agent, circumstantial traffic light, vertical sign, road marking, Mr. Sunday, uh, police agent, uh, traffic agent, warning sign traffic light vertical sign good uh but if you don't call in i will not give you if you don't call in i will not give you if you call in i said we have three i uh, you people are getting it we have five five road five priority among signs and you're you're listing them among uh, the in priority ways i love that but please you have to call in you have to call in to be able to to, uh, to to get your gift you must call in to get your gift most of you people i will not say whether you get it or you don't get it but you are trying posting it on board you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying sister loretta you tried but oscar you tried but you need to perfect it by if you want to win the book the spanish book sister loretta if you want to win the spanish book again please you can call in you have to call in you have to call in so uh, I think we have a minute to go, and uh, I will be rounding it up by saying uh, special thanks to everyone who happens to give us their time to be on this platform today. Uh, please, we should not forget to share it with the people that need it. There are people that need it in your closets. There are people that need it in your church. There are people that need it in your prayer friends list. There are people that need it on your platform. Please, help us to share this video. There's nothing to lose about it. Okay. Mm. Hello. Hello. Please, you have to lower the video. You have to lower the video volume. Hello. Hello, sir. Can I can I hear you? I want to answer that question. I wrote before you said you call. That's only. Okay. Police agent. Police agent. Traffic agent. One. Circumstantial what? Traffic light. Circumstantial traffic light or warning light. Two. Vertical sign. No. 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 You missed it. Don't just cut. You missed it already. You missed it, you missed it already. Okay. So I, I caught you. It missed the priority. 
the priority among them. What? Somebody's calling in another person, another caller. Good afternoon. Hello, bless you, sir. Bless you, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, is Ambrose on the line? Ah, yes, sir. Please, can you answer our question, sir? Yeah, thank you, sir. I can answer your question, sir. Number one? Uh, the same priority. The same priority. Number one is traffic agents. Traffic agent, number one? Number two. Yeah, traffic agents, number one. Number two, technician or uh, warning light. Circumstantial or number warning two. light, number two? Or uh, warning light. Yeah, number two. Circumstantial or uh, warning light. Okay. Number three. Traffic lights. Number three, traffic <laughs> lights that are vertical. Traffic lights. Number four, vertical sign. Number four, number vertical five, sign. Number five, road marking. Very good, sir. Road Thank marking. you very much. <laughs> sir, you want yourself a, a package of, of a book in Spanish. I know you might not want to do it in Spanish because the reason why I didn't give English, I'm going to give English one day, but the reason why I, I won't give English is because I'm selling English. But I want to give Spanish to people so that you can give to your neighbor. You can just knock your neighbor's door. Okay, no problem. So, let me leave you, Sam. Bye. So, the reason why I don't want to give English yet, but I saw somebody on the platform who has attended the class for six times, and I'm going to give free English book package to your house. I'm going to write you to send me your address, and I'll post it to you. So that you have a free scholarship for me from me throughout the uh, driving school. That is what I'm going. To, I'm just waiting to have. Yeah, immediately, immediately next this week, I'm going to call you. Just send me your address. I'm going to give you a scholarship free for the class till you pass. So, uh, on in English. But now we are giving the gift away. We are having today is in Spanish, so that you can knock your neighbor. Just help me to knock your neighbor and say neighbor. You don't have driver's license. I got this book for you free of charge. Just give it out to your neighbor, and your neighbor will, ben will benefit, and your neighbor will be happy that a black man is giving out something that will help them in their country. So uh, I will encourage us to, to join me next week, the same time, 1 o'clock next week, and we'll have a wonderful time like this. And after going offline now, if you have your question, you can drop it. You can help us to share the video. You can help us to tell people. You can call me if you are still interested. If you believe in us, that we can make you pass. And if, you are, uh, if you've been my student before, you can help me to write a testimony under the comments that I've been a student last week, last two years, three years ago, and I really, what you enjoy, if I've been a bad person during the season, right there. I would really appreciate it so that it will encourage order to be able to see us and we will we'll understand that we are doing something great secretly. Now we are coming on board this uh, this platform is to tell the whole English people, not only Nigerians. I have people that are not Nigerian on this platform and I really benefited from most of it. And I have some some pastors that shared on their on their church forum that called me last week and said, look, this is the time for them to to tell their church member to achieve this and it's very very important when your followers are able to get the good thing in the land thank you very much for those thank you very much for the person that has been my secretary on the platform sister esther i really appreciate you for putting the number every time thank you for being there uh that thing you called me for i'm going to give you free of charge you understand me that thing you called me for is going to be free of charge now because I watch everybody. The more you watch my program and the more you come in here, I have a gift for you. What you just need to do is that I will text you, send me your address, I'll post it to your doorstep, and you get it done. Thank you very much. As I'll come your way next week, I remain Steve Teller, a road safety expert here in Madrid, and we've been doing the best, our best. We're contributing our quota to the English speaking people here in Spain. And let me tell you something. They do exam in English. And you sit for the exam in the language that suits you, that you can read faster. If Spanish is okay by you, if French is okay by you, just go for it. Anyone, don't let anybody trick you. Most of the people that discourage you are people that they don't do it, they don't do the exam by themselves. Most people that tell you that don't go to driving school or don't let somebody teach you. 
there are people that they don't anybody who sits by himself and do it will encourage you to carry your book and get it but those that make noise in the city are people that they paid people to do exam for them most of them they've lost their license they only have the card the card does not have a point again and that card becomes a normal card which when you are being stopped by a small boy police it will disgrace you go back and get the point back and make the license read they can't go back so don't let those people discourage you most time we have problem among the black people here we don't tell ourselves the truth the truth is that you need a license whether you drive with it or you don't drive with it you need a license to secure a better job to have a good mobility you need it and you can do it and i'm available to help you to do it even though if you don't have money call me i can assist for you to do it i'm available you can do it this is your time this is your time you can do it thank you very much oh oh gracias mo mi efe emmanuel gracias thank you very much one of my efe in traffic comes in now thank you very much i really appreciate you sir thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much thank you god bless as many people that comes on board Sir, me, I need you to explain about driver's license matter. Ah, driver's license matter. We are about closing, but let me just take time to explain. The driver's license, as we all know, is one kind of a valuable document which has to do with uh which has to do with driving here and is one of the is one strong document which you need. You need and you must have it. So you has it has two ways of of getting it you have to do the theory exam and do the practical exam if you don't pass the theory exam you can't do the practical exam so you have to go for it and uh we are telling you that we use the best material in spain we use the best material in spain to prepare our students and um, i can boast of it i have largest number of uh, foreign students that has passed from us and we're still doing it we still we can't count again and we have students on board now on our online class which you can call and with small money we'll get the material across to you wherever you are living and we we'll prepare you to get your exam and you can do it thank you very much i come your way next week thank you very much i love you all i love you all everybody that comes online that i cannot mention i love everyone please help us to share whatever you are living we can post it whether you live in musia alicante happy from musia happy from bibao happy from Vica, um, uh, victoria thank you my pastor from victoria thank you thank you for sending money to us in uh, to get to register with us thank you for everybody that has been there and i really appreciate my friends from nigeria my pretty lady from nigeria my pretty sisters my pretty friends my handsome brothers i love you all thank you very much we'll see you once once again next week bye